Well, for 20 years, a retired nurse has been hosting an event to return the care to the caregivers. Our Brenda Mack has more. It is a day of retreat for a selfless group of people. Oh, I loved nursing. I would have nursed for nothing. A day for nurses and caregivers who constantly put others before themselves. I retired after 45 years of nursing. Yeah. But today, they are being reminded to care differently. They are told to first love themselves. It's a wonderful time to kind of focus on myself, uh, which is sometimes very difficult to do, given time constraints, given, you know, given everything. You're not, we're not taught to take care of ourselves first. The exhaustion from work is what prompted a now-retired nurse 20 years ago. Seldom do we run across a lady that, that is so visionary, that is so committed, that is so loving. To host the Ministry of Caring Retreat for her colleagues. You can't give care unless you are well cared for. How do you deny 70 people or 120 people the opportunity to refresh themselves when they feel the need for it? Just live, just be, float. Let life take care of you for a change. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Think well, do well is the mantra of Reverend Nicholas, and this year he shared his personal stories to inspire and replenish the hearts of caregivers. A sense of purpose and self, and, and the authenticity that you bring to your purpose, to be able to deliver that just by the person that you are. And, and to, uh, to, to bring the kind of encouragement into whatever you do that not only um, uh, works for the people that you're trying to serve, but that at the same time works for the people that are around you, your colleagues and the like too, to, to, uh, to stay together and uh, to be a team and work forward to, to doing the work that they do so beautifully. This annual event is open to all caregivers that includes family members and also friends. Here in Bemidji, I'm Brenna Mack for Lakeland News. The conference is supported by Northwest Technical College, Sanford Health, and St. Joseph's Health. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.